Hi everybody, this is Devin from Opiongo Bushcraft and uh, I'm here to showcase my growing Olight flashlight collection. This flashlight collection has kind of grown over this past year with our uncertain times with the pandemic in place and things like that when I realized that I really didn't have a flashlight I could keep in my pocket carry around. I carry a lot of EDC items and the flashlight kind of always slips my mind. I keep a headlamp in my pack and things like that but uh, a flashlight in the pocket um, now that I'm carrying one, I don't know how I didn't before. Kind of like carrying a folding knife or anything like that. It's, it's uh, you don't realize how much you use it until you you don't carry one, and it does. And same goes the other way around. You don't realize how much you needed one until you have one in your pocket all the time. So this is my growing Olight collection. Um, it's kind of a hidden gem, it seems. There's not a whole lot of traction. Um, they are starting to gain a lot of momentum, it seems, especially up here in Canada. They have a Canadian branch now. Um, this is in no way uh, an endorsed product for me. I, I, I'm not paid by them at all. I paid full pop for all these. Um, but they are, um, especially for the price, definitely worth checking out. So here, without further ado, is my Olay collection. All right, here we are set up with my growing Olight collection. Um, the one thing I've noticed, be it a freebie that came with my order or the weapons mounted light that I ordered with intent, all of these flashlights are exceedingly well made. Considering they ship and sell right from China, um, right down to the packaging, it's like you're getting a new iPhone, you know, that fizz that you get when you get something in a nice package. I'm going to unbox these and you'll see exactly what I mean. Um, so I have three um, i5Ts. Um, this one came as a bonus when, when I purchased the Odin Mini uh, weapon mounted light. Um, this also came as a free gift. Um, this is their uh, IR2 which is small but the coolest part about it is first of all it's got two brightness settings one like a map light 15 lumens which is what I use it for almost always and then it ramps up to I think a hundred lumens I'd have to check for you there but it bright enough for something that can fit on your your zipper toggle and the coolest part is if you unscrew it all the way it opens up and there's the charge port so this is actually an integrated battery flashlight which I really appreciate Maybe not for an EDC light. I prefer to be able to take the battery out like this. This is basically the flashlight I carry all the time now. And it's funny because I didn't even order this flashlight. It was kind of a freebie type thing. Um, it's got two light settings as well. A low and a, a high. It takes a single double A. Maybe it's triple A. Now I can't remember. In the rear. Double A. Um, but look at like all copper fittings. And aluminum housing all aluminum LED it's a uh, it's an extremely well made light now the the cream of the crop here is their Odin and this this is a weapon mounted light that comes with a M lock uh, mount which is obviously not on this right now um, and a uh, pressure pad that's magnetic and uh, quick release locked this is probably the nicest weapon mounted light I've ever owned. Um, this thing, in my opinion, uh, is right up there quality wise with Surefire and the like. Um, and you can even take it off your weapon and use it without having to change tail caps or anything, which is also a really cool feature. Now, everything down to the packaging on these, is, like I said, is high quality. Um, so I'm going to open up this. This is the O-Pen by Olight. So it's a uh, tactical pen with a L-lock, like a bolt action type action on it and an integrated flashlight. Um, now I'm going to open this up and you'll see what I mean. Like down to the paper box that it comes in is just, I know that seems silly, but it's something that I, I appreciate. I appreciate good packaging. So inside the box is a plastic carrying case. Uh, that houses the charging co cable for it, um, an extra um, ink, I almost said lead. I think I have to pull it like this. It's 
So it's got the L action that is spring loaded on the close. Momentary on, or if you quick click, steady on. Momentary to hold, or quick click to steady on. Not a crazy bright light by any means, but for map reading or writing in the dark, that's all you need. But exceedingly good quality, considering this is half the price of a good, what I would call an American-made flashlight or pen. Nice carrying case. Not that I'm sure I will ever use this again, but that's what I mean. Like most people are going to throw this out and it's just nice quality. That's why I can't throw out a cell phone box to save my life. I just feel like they're nice boxes. And here is another i5. Um, I bought this one because this one that I kind of got as a bonus is fugly as hell with the camo acid wash. Um, and then this one I have is a um, green or a uh, UV light. So it's a blood spatter, you know, organic material light, we'll call it. That's a little cleaner, nice anodized clip. The clips are also cool in these. The, you're starting to see these more and more on all EDC flashlights where it can be clipped to your pocket with the one side or like say clipped to the brim of your hat with the other side, if you so chose, which I actually have used in his handy in a pinch. I flattened a tire here a month ago and I found myself using my ADC flashlight on the brim of my hat while I tried to fix my tire. So that is the Olight collection. I mean, there is more. There's huge flashlights that I don't know what you would use for, um, blinding small children and the like. But this basically is my, my realm. These i5s are great, great EDC uh, flashlights. The... Odin, this is the Odin Mini. I almost went with the Odin, um, I guess just Odin, not large or whatever, but the full-size Odin. And this mounted to a platform is is about as big as I want to go. The regular Odin is almost twice the size, and I mean, it's that's that's too much, <laughs> much too much. So this is a great size, uh, 1800 lumen output on high. And uh, and high high quality build. The lockup with the quick release M lock attachment is amazing, um, and it and truly does rival anything that's on the market today, and for a quarter of the price, which is the biggest part that I appreciate. And there you have it. That is my 2021 as of so far here in the end of February Olight collection. Basically all I need. I don't think I'll go with anything bigger. They make some massive flashlights with some seriously high outputs. You might need something like that yourself. I, I don't. Um, I tend to do all my hunting during the day. That's uh, <laughs> what the government likes, you know? So that is that is what you need. Something, something small that can go in your pocket. A good quality uh, firearm mounted light. Um, I, I liked the idea of this pen. I, I Whether or not I need this pen is a completely other issue, but uh, I like the idea of having a small light, just a 15 lumen map light on a pen, um, something I can carry while I'm at work instead of maybe a flashlight and a pen. I can kind of carry this a little leaner. Funerals and the like, you know? So that is my Olight collection. Check them out. Canada, U.S., they have the website for either or. That's all I have for you today. Cheers.